Hello everybody, I am Nico D. This is the Micotronics R58 Mini and in this video I'm gonna show you how to install another operating system onto the EMMC. So this doesn't have an SD card reader so you cannot plug in an SD card. It also doesn't yet boot from USB so you have to use a program with Windows so RK Dev Tool. Uh, with that you can write another operating system onto it. So it has got two small buttons over here, two small holes. So I have got two small uh, screwdrivers, one for the recovery button and one for the reset button. So what you do is you plug in. Okay, so power is plugged in, as you see. There is a light. Then from my PC I have got a USB-C cable that I plug in into the Type-C in the front. Okay. And now to make it go into recovery mode. So I press the recovery. I keep it pressed. And I press the reset once. You hear it. It has found it. Now I can release the recovery and I can put away this device over here and now i can install another operating system so let's open so what we need is rk dev tool but i've got a newer version so best to use the latest version so i've got version 2.96 over here so rk dev tool so, for the Micotronics operating systems, we go here, we select firmware, and we select what we want to install. So, for example, I have got here RK Debian. So, it has to say found one loader device, that means it is in upgrade mode. So, I have selected my firmware, now all I do is press upgrade and it will install Debian. And as you see it is installing Debian. So here you can see all the firmware that Micotronics delivers. So they have got a new Android image that I will have to try. So here they have got a Ubuntu, but it is Ubuntu 20.04, not 22.04. One is without drivers and one is with Valence GPU driver with the blob. And they also have got Buildwood firmware. And they also have got a video over here where they show what to do, but that's what I show in this video. So it says no devices found, download firmware success. So I can close this program. I can take out this. plug this in here success we have got Debian installed so that works Debian is installed so now I'm gonna show you how to install Armbian so this is a user built image from Monka Bliat so uh, he is an Armbian developer but he builds his own images so this isn't official Armbian yet but it will be possible later on to build your own images with the Armbian build script. So we again plug in the PSU. Again we plug in our type C. What I do is I put the antennas like this and I can mount it on my knee. And like that I can keep my hands free to pick these two. So one recovery button one reset we keep recovery pressed and we press the reset and that's what we want to hear again we open the rk dev tool so for armbian it is different 
So for Armbin we need this setup. So what I have is I have Makeotronics RK SPI loader. So RK35 here it is. So I have got this file, the SPI loader, and then I have got my Armbin image. And here I make sure it points to the correct folder. Slash and then the file name. And paste. So this is my file. So make sure it is correct. So this you set as loader. This you set as image. Here you set write by address. This must be on. Then you click run. Now it is installing Armbian. It is a bit of buggy software, but we have to do with it. So for Linux there is also a solution, but it is also pretty buggy and I'm not gonna show this in this video. So it isn't that hard for Armbian. You have to use this download image. For other images from Mikrotronics, we use upgrade firmware. You have to make sure you have the SPI bootloader. Okay, it finally finished. It is a bigger image, so that's normal. So no devices found. I can pull out this. And now let's do the tests. And here we go! We have got Armion installed. So the password is Armion. That works! So as you see, it isn't that hard to install new software on the Mikrotronics board. It would have been easier with an SD card or with USB. But they are working on USB boots, so that would be nice to have that. So, it works. So, uh, that will be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. See you later. Bye.